know that there are 815 million people in the world who are experiencing hunger. We also know that if we gave the same resources to women, we could instantly reduce that by 150 million people. Soft Power is going to establish pilot communities, new environments for women to flourish. We're going to do that by using starvation mapping. We're going to target the vulnerable, the who. We're going to deploy our seeds. They're going to be wearables. And when they get issued a wearable, we'll be issuing a KYC and a Qi token for inclusion in our project. Those wearables will enable us to objectively obtain health data that is going to facilitate the immediate delivery of food via drones from existing resources. That trust by those women is going to establish in what's possible is going to form a Qi community. And those Qi communities is going to establish the ability for us to have community conversations. Those community conversations will give us customised projects and skills plans. And from there, we will commence our hunger project using smart contracts. Our data is going to be stored in the blockchain and of course the blockchain is also going to give us the ability to have real-time monitoring and support and progress and we're going to be able to reward that progress by using Qi token. On the successful attainment of those community goals, it is going to trigger a community ICO. That single community ICO will give pollination to that community and economic freedom and the ability for those women to purchase their own land. From there, those communities will be able to cross-pollinate and we're going to develop exponential, multi-community, self-funded growth where those leaders become community educators. What we've developed is a web platform that helps support the goals of our project. Goal number one was starvation and mapping. We want to be completely transparent in the data that we are using to rationalise the communities that we are targeting. We also want to be very transparent with the health of our pilot communities as they progress towards their targeted goals. We also want it to be abundantly clear where these communities are located and how this will affect the starvation mapping in the future so we can see the progress of our own projects on top of the projects of these pilot communities. We also want to um, establish portals for the organisations that are partaking in our projects. So organisations might be the people who want to fund the Qi tokens and, and basically support the, the, the underlying infrastructure. So when they make a pledge of money to support the Qi um, token, these pledges will be collected in a smart contract. When that smart contract has reached its threshold number, the funds will be distributed to these communities. Um, once the, the money has been distributed, we want these organisations to be able to track the communities that they are supporting so that they can follow the progress that those communities have made since their investment. As a part of this, we also want to foster competition between these um, organisations. And so we have here a ranking of the other organisations' investments and where these organisations rank up against other investors. We also have an individual's portal to allow women who are partaking in our pilot communities to be able to track their own progress to meet their own goals. And so we have various um, um, umbrella areas that will help them uh, engage better with their communities, support their civic understanding and how they will better support their own communities in the future. We also have community pages that will help them um, foster the conversation part of our goals. So to help these communities engage with each other, communicate with each other and understand where other communities are with their own progress and their own targets. We also obviously have the, the wallets available for each of these individuals that says the chief funds they have been invested in and where they've invested them in the past to see where they can make future progress. Um, the next step in our roadmap is to work on the um, community ICOs, which meets our, assist our sustainability goals of allowing these communities to step away from their support networks and, um, and, and, and it gives them the space to flourish. Um, our target and intent, we've taken into account the United Nations um, goals where they've said that everyone needs to be involved and everybody, so everybody needs to be involved and everyone has a role to play. So our uniqueness is that we are taking what we are calling a collaborative institutional technology and partnerships approach. 
Our impact and scalability will deliver both immediate and long-term goals. And of course, we're going to utilise the token to fertilise further economic growth. Done.